Hey there, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic, money exchange systems. Yup, it's all about how we trade and use money to make the world go round. First things first, what exactly is money? Money is any item or record that is accepted as payment for goods and services. It's what we use to buy our favorite snacks, clothes, and even that cool video game we've been saving for, what is money? Medium of exchange unit of account store of value. Think of money as a tool that makes it easier to trade things with others. Before money, people used to barter. Imagine trading your bicycle for a bag of rice. Sounds complicated, right? That's where money steps in to simplify everything. Let's rewind a bit. Before there was money, people used the barter system. This means they traded goods and services directly. If you had wheat and your neighbor had sheep, you could exchange some wheat for wool. But, here's the problem, problems with the barter system. Double coincidence of wants no standard measure of value difficulty in storing wealth. The biggest issue was something called the double coincidence of wants. For a trade to happen, both people had to want exactly what the other had, at the same time. Imagine how hard it would be to get what you need, to fix these problems, money was introduced. The first forms of money were things like shells and metal coins. Over time, money became more convenient, and today we have paper money and even digital currency, types of money over time. Commodity money, e.g., gold, silver, paper money, digital money, e.g., cryptocurrency. Money evolved to fit our needs, making trading easier and quicker. Now, instead of carrying chickens or bags of wheat around, you just need a banknote or a swipe of your card. Money serves three main purposes. The first one is that it's a medium of exchange. This means it's something everyone agrees to accept in return for goods and services. Money is a medium of exchange. For example, if I want to buy a cool new phone, I can pay with money because both I and the seller trust that money holds value. Money also acts as a unit of account. This means it helps us measure and compare the value of different things. It's why we can say a sandwich costs $5, and a laptop costs $500. Money is a unit of account. Finally, money is a store of value, meaning it can hold its value over time. You can save your money today and use it in the future to buy things. Money is a store of value. Today, money exchange systems are more advanced than ever. We don't just rely on cash anymore, we have digital payments, credit cards, and even cryptocurrencies, thanks to technology, we can send money to anyone around the world with just a few clicks. It's fast, secure, and super convenient. So, that's a wrap on the money exchange system. From bartering to digital payments, money has come a long way. It's amazing to think how something so simple can make such a big difference in our lives. Key takeaways. Money simplifies trade barter system had limitations money serves as a medium of exchange, unit of account, and store of value. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more awesome videos on finance, economics, and much more. See you in the next one.